Go. Hey guys, we're gonna start with the ACL and my patient is in the acute phase. So they have their hinged knee brace on. Uh, sometimes if you see the patient in the hospital, they might have a knee immobilizer on and then you are the one that puts this on for the very first time. Lots of different brands, lots of different ways that these work. So if you'll come closer, let me show you. This one's pretty easy. Um, if I pull this little stopper out, now this will allow flexion of the knee. Uh, but if that's engaged, it doesn't matter what these settings are on, it's locked, okay? Now, once the doctor okays a knee flexion, then I would have to have these set where I want them. So right now, this is set at zero degrees of extension, which is what we would want, and it's set at 30 degrees of flexion, and I would just unhook both of these, and now my patient can flex their knee. Okay, but they're cute. They're brand new, so we're gonna have this all locked in, okay? So we are allowed to take this brace off for therapy, um, or you could just unlock it for therapy if I wanted to do heel slides or hamstring curls or anything like that. Um, but then if anytime she's gonna be up on her feet, anytime she's having to support weight on this leg, it is locked at zero, okay? Now, an easy way to show that, I know you guys all brought home a piece of TheraBand, um, and I know you're used to marking your patient's leg with one of these. So, since you don't have a brace at home, what I suggest you do is use your TheraBand kind of as your brace, and when the TheraBand is up around the knee, that means the brace is on. And then if you were going to say, oh, okay, we're going to do some range of motion stuff, we're going to... Uh, take your brace off, just slide it down, okay, and have it down around the ankle, and that will tell me watching they just took the brace off, okay, that's just kind of a little cheat for skill checks, which we're going to talk about at our Zoom meeting, okay, so while the brace is on, I could have my patient do quad sets, so can you uh, straighten out your knee as hard as you can, very nice, we could do her ankle pumps. Um, bring your ankle up and down. No, just the ankle. Just oh. flex and point and flex and point. Could do that for circulation. Um, if she had a good quad set. Go ahead and lay down for me. Okay, you're falling off the bed. That's okay. <laughs> okay. Um, if she had a good quad set. I could do some active assisted straight leg raises. So I want you to tighten up this thigh as much as you can. Now we're gonna raise your leg up in the air. Good, and control it on the way down. Keep this nice and tight, come down. And I'm just there to catch her. If she loses her straight leg raise, I don't want her to then fire her quad and try to straighten up her leg again. That'd be an open kinetic chain extension, okay? Um, and I know you already had with Dr. J, why this patient isn't allowed to do open kinetic chain extension. Why? I wish I could hear you right now. <laughs> no, nothing? Okay, I know you know. It's because the ACL has been damaged, okay? They've replaced it, it's devascularized, it's weak right now. It can't control the tibia sliding forward on the femur. So if we have the quad pull all by itself with nothing else uh, kind of controlling the tibia, that tibia is going to slide forward on the femur and the ACL is being put under a lot of strain and we're probably going to break it um, or pull the bone plugs out or something really exciting that we don't want to do. Okay, um, what else can we do in this min phase? Well, as soon as she shows good quad control, uh, the doctor is going to allow us to start opening up the brace. Okay, so we're going to open up the brace. Excuse me for getting familiar here. Okay, it's open. <laughs> that's 30, that's at zero. Okay, so now she's got about 30 degrees of flexion. Um, so we can start doing some things in standing. So let's get up and stand. Okay, by the time we open up the knee brace, she should be weight bearing as tolerated. Okay, if I had stood her up while the brace was still locked, 
depending on where she was in the rehab process, she might have been weight bear, uh, partial weight bearing and she would have needed crutches or a walker. But once we're open here, um, that means she had good quad control. We could do some mini squats. So patient, if you'll just turn around for me, okay? And you're only gonna go down as far as the brace is gonna let you, okay? Mm -hmm. So when you go down, nice and controlled, then just stick your butt out behind you, nice, and come back up, okay? We can do that for strengthening, okay? She could do heel raises. Go ahead, up on your tippy toes, up and down. Okay, we could do that. We could start. This is falling off. <laughs> they always feel like it's because I put it on over over your loose pants. That's true. Okay. We could start a forward step up program where you're gonna step up with that left leg and then step back down. Okay, good. Okay, we're not gonna do step down yet. Eccentric control is harder, and we're not gonna use very high steps, two to four inches, but all we're gonna do. Uh, during this phase, we might start, um, sometimes you start biking, sometimes you don't. Um, let's see if I forgot anything. Oh, we can do hamstring exercises. Okay, uh, can you lay down prone for me? Uh, On your stomach, I'm sorry. Cool. This is difficult. She's doing great. Right. She's doing very well. Okay, so I could have her go ahead. And, um, we could take this off. And we're just going to get rid of this. So many things. <laughs> there we go. How many are there? Five? Four. Okay. Because yes. we'd have the brace off for this. Okay. I want you to bend your knee up as high as you can. Okay. That's open kinetic chain knee flexion. That's fine. She can do that. Okay. I can even give her a little stretch. I'm not going to force it, but maybe I help her just hold her in range. But now let me bring your foot back down. Okay, that part's going to be passive. You bring it up as far as you can. Good. And then I'm going to bring it down. Just relax. Okay, that way the quad isn't pulling on the tibia. So we're all good with that. Okay, um, we'd be stretching out her calf if we needed to. We'd be educating her on using ice. This knee's going to be swollen for a while. She needs to be icing it a few times a day. Um, that's about it. Okay, criteria to progress. When she can bend her knee 125 degrees, we are good. When she has good quad control and when she has good patellar mobility. Okay, then we go to our next phase. Now the next phase, she should be unlocked all the way to 90. Okay, and like I said, I'm gonna have this starting at six weeks. So early part of this phase, we're still gonna be taking it easy, okay? Um, she's walking, we can start doing a little bit higher steps now. We could do retro ambulation. Go ahead and jump up for me, patient. Okay, she wouldn't do it like that, but that's okay. <laughs> okay, we're gonna go to the treadmill. Okay. You're gonna be walking backwards, so turn around. You can hold it. Like, it's going to start real slow. And cameraman, come over here. Okay. There you go. It's going slow. Take as big a step as you can back. No worries. There, there you go. Good. And just watch your knee. Can you see the extension you get? I also have you going backwards up a hill. <laughs> oh, you're mean. I just didn't lower it back down. I ran earlier. There you go. Not as much. Okay. So as you step back, I want you to straighten out your leg as much as you can. There you go. Okay. So retro ambulation. Again, it's the active flexion and then it's closed chain extension. Okay, I'm going to stop this. That was one mile an hour. She did very well. <laughs> Come on down. Um, we could do more step ups. Again, brace is on. Brace is uh, locked or unlocked to 90. Um, we could start some PNF stretching. We're going to be real careful with end range stretching of the quad. Um, keep the hip flexed when you're uh, stretching out the knee uh, just so we don't put too much tension and pop those little bone plugs out. When she has no pain with the current program. 
She's weight bearing is tolerated. Good quad control. Uh, good range of motion. Then we, uh, the doctor is going to say, yay, we can take the brace off. Okay. So she will not be wearing a brace for therapy anymore as long as she's not doing any multi-directional or multi-planar movements. If I wanted her to do like a rapid deceleration like suicides, or if I wanted her to do cutting motions where she really had to, to stop and turn, then she's gonna have on a derotation brace. Okay, you saw a picture of that in the uh, slideshow from lecture. Okay, um, but this phase is kind of what you would think of as min protective phase for all the other pathologies. There's no limit to what we can do. We can stretch, we can work endurance, we can do um, real high steps. She can do uh, descending, heel taps, step downs. She can do deep squats, she can do plyometrics, she can do the agility ladder, okay? She can do the bike, she can do anything, okay? But if you are concerned that her knee is going to twist or that with deceleration, her tibia is gonna slide forward, then you need to have the derotation brace on her, okay? We're gonna talk through more of this um, on the Zoom meeting. So hopefully this is making sense to you so far and we'll keep going.